Good afternoon everybody, it's Max Norbury here from ForexSignals.com. Now I know it's been a little while since my last video, but we are starting the YouTube engine again, getting those videos out to you guys in due course. So it's great to be back and I hope you're all doing amazingly well. Now today everybody I want to spend just a couple of minutes, maybe 5-10 minutes, talking about trading mindset. Now it's so often that we see traders nowadays just focus on the same old thing. We have strategies, we have candlestick patterns, we have fundamental analysis, we have you know technical analysis, we've got a geopolitics going on at the moment with Russia, Ukraine, and all of these are massive, massive talking points in the financial markets. But at the end of the day, guys, they don't answer one simple question. Why do you keep losing money in the markets? Okay, so Ultimately, money in the markets is the same as money everywhere else around the world. You've got to think about things like emotions, you've got to think about being emotionally attached to that money. Money nowadays is more important than it ever has been. Okay, anything that you want to do, there's going to be some type of financial transaction taking place somewhere behind the scenes. Now, with that in mind, you've got to think about raising, rising energy rates. You've got to think about things like the fact that oil is absolutely blowing up at the moment. You've got to think about things like the Russia-Ukraine situation, which is creating more demand, less supply. Okay, therefore the rise, the, you know, the prices are rising. Now, my colleague Scott actually just last week did a video on the oil markets. Now, the thing is, guys, with all of these things going on around the world things are only going to get more expensive and therefore our emotional attachment to money is going to get forever more stronger. But what we need to realize here is to make money in the markets to actually surpass and get above the 98% of the other retail traders that are unfortunately losing money consistently is to get that separation away from the financial value of what you are trading. Now that sounds like a great deal of a bunch of words. Uh, frankly, you know, even when I say it back to myself in my head, I'm just like, hang on a minute, wait, wait, where, where did I start? But anyway, the most important thing here, guys, is about not being a robot when you trade. It's about being able to overcome those emotional hurdles when thinking about what you're investing in. Okay, now let's take a scenario here for example, right? You've got Trader A, you've got Trader B. Trader A is trading with emotion when he's looking at a, with an asset class. Let's say he's trading something like the S&P 500, okay? Trader A is thinking about things like, oh, actually, with the winnings I'm gonna get from this trade, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna buy maybe a new car, or I'm gonna get a, a, a new super-sized fridge freezer combo or like that next big 75 inch 4k screen that he's really wanted for his living room okay trader b however is looking at the exact same setup but trader b is only thinking about the compound interest that he's going to be able to reinvest from the earnings of that if it even is a winner so trader b is thinking about reinvestment and trader a is thinking about tangible products what are you going to be more emotionally attached to? Okay, if you're just looking at making money to make more money, and you know, part of your long-term financial goal is your you know nest egg, so to speak, in the markets, i.e., trader B, then you're not really going to have anything tangible, anything physical, in your grasp to really get emotionally attached to. But if you're trader A you're thinking about everything that you're gonna be able to do with that new 75 inch screen. Have your buddies around watch the footy game. You're gonna be able to watch your big screen movies at home and have great family memories, family time and stuff. And all the things that are associated with that, all the new car for example, all the new drives around town, people looking at you, and all of these things that just honestly don't really matter. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, Trader Ray's always going to have a TV. He's just going to have a 55 inch and not a 75 inch, right? Of course he is. This day and age, everybody's got a TV. But my point here is that the more emotional attachment that we place on the, uh, the potential earnings, the unrealized earnings of each of these trade ideas is what is really driving that 98% down. It's what's driving that 98% of traders to lose money in the markets. Let's think about this other analogy for, or, or ex other example here for a second, right? 
it is, I would say, about 95%, and this is a rough ballpark figure here, but I reckon about 95% of new traders coming through our doors to our trading room every day have some kind of financial objective, some kind of tangible objective in their way when they come into the trading room, whether that be new car, new PC, new house, holidays, um, like I said, new fridge freezers, all of these tangible things that they want from the financial markets. But that is fundamentally the wrong way to go about it. When you get to trading right from the onset, your best chance of being consistently profitable is to face the markets with the attitude that you are simply here to grow your account. You are starting off with $100, you want to make it $200, which then wants to make it into $400, then to $800, then to $1,600, then to $3,200, and so on and so forth. It's about that compound growth over the long term. And the difference between successful money and failed money is the fact that they think about tangibles or they don't think about tangibles. Now, of course, there's a load of other things to consider as well at the same time. You've got to think about the fact that life responsibilities are going to get in the way. You want to be taking a potential salary from this money, which is absolutely fine when you become consistently profitable and you get over these first hurdles, you want to be thinking about those things as well. That's, I'm not saying not to think about that, but what I am really reinforcing here is the behavioral finance uh, kind of environment that all of the, that all of you, you, myself, when I started out, uh, you know, my colleagues, everybody has to go through these behavioral finance steps thinking about things like cognitive bias, loss aversion, um, you know, has even mentioned of something like the Dunning-Kruger cycle, for example, that realization that trading is actually a lot harder than it once first seemed, okay? And everybody has to go through these things. But what I can promise in this video, okay, is that without a shadow of a doubt, if you stop thinking about what you can buy next with the earnings, from that particular trade or this particular trade and you start caring much more about the growth of the account itself and stop thinking about tangibles full stop. Just a full stop, stop thinking about it. It doesn't matter. You win some trades, you lose some trades, but at the end of the day, it's about long-term growth and the strategy of compound interest that's only ever going to make you money and ultimately turn you from a, from a, fail, a failed trader from losing money every single day into a successful financial trader, okay? The magic, guys, is not with strategies. It's not with candlestick patterns. It's not with, uh, you know, the different forms of analysis or holy grail systems out there. It's up here, this is where the magic is. It's all about the mind. Get the mind in check and you'll start seeing those returns coming in. So guys, take care. I hope to see you again soon in the next YouTube video. Remember, hit that bell icon so you get notified of every single video that we're pumping out to you guys at the moment. And also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down if you didn't really like it, which is absolutely fine. And subscribe to the channel for more of these videos up and coming. So take care guys. And above all else, trade safe. I'll see you soon.